To avoid humiliating Metallica, Axel and the Guns N' Roses team made an unexpected decision. In 1992, Guns N' Roses and Metallica embarked on a joint tour of the USA that went down in history as one of the most chaotic and unexpected in rock history. Dubbed the Guns N' Roses Metallica Stadium Tour, the tour lasted from July 17th to October 6th of that year and resulted in serious incidents involving both bands. Both Guns N' Roses and Metallica were already big at that time, so the decision about who would headline could cause tension between them. In the end, it was decided that Metallica would open the shows and GNR would close, and that both would be headliners. But for the audience, it might seem like the band that plays first is the opening act, and the one that closes is the headliner, right? And to avoid this, they made an unusual decision, as Axel explained in an interview at the time. Axel begins by saying, Everyone wanted this tour a lot, and they worked really hard to make this tour happen. You know, Metallica put their tour together with ours to do this stadium tour together that we got here and we thought, great, this is going to be really cool. And it kind of ended up like, wait a minute, if this is so cool, why should it be the hardest thing we ever did? We felt it wouldn't be fair to Metallica to come out and do a normal opening. Like, do an opening that's longer than their set and end up looking like they're smaller than us. We don't want that. We want them to look big, like they are which makes it clear that there was a concern to let Metallica play their set normally, something that doesn't happen with opening bands, which are often forced to shorten their set. At the end of the video, Axel also briefly talks about the assaults he suffered at the shows on this tour. I got hit with some stuff at different times. One of them while I was thanking the audience. And then I got hit again. I was like, no, I'm not going to allow this. 